Hey everyone, Travis Tom here with Elevated Real Estate Marketing. There's a little bit of a notification that's been popping up inside of the Facebook Ad Manager when you try to create a new custom audience from a customer list. This is a new change where Facebook wants you to create a business manager account and connect your business manager account to your Facebook ad account so you can actually upload those custom audiences from a customer list. So today I'm gonna to walk you through exactly how to do that with a fresh new ad account and a fresh new business manager account and walk you through the process step by step. All right, let's dive in. Hey everyone, okay, inside of the Facebook ad manager, there's a few uh, little things that you might have seen pop up, some notices here. Uh, connect to a business manager to keep using customer file audiences. This is a uh, notice from Facebook that's been popping up about the past month. And now people in some accounts are experiencing that they need to actually connect their personal ad account to a business manager account to be able to actually create these. Um, we've experienced a few of these in the past uh, seven days. And today I'm going to walk you through exactly what that means and what that looks like. So what you need to do is you need to create a business manager account, be able to actually link your personal ad account or your current ad account to a business manager. Business manager is very similar to the ad manager. It's just a little bit more of an organized way to handle multiple different ad accounts, multiple different uh, pages. And so if you are managing let's say five or 10 or 50 different business pages and five or 10 or 50 different ad accounts. This is a good way to keep track of those different pixels, who's associated with what page, who has what access, um, giving you a little bit more of well, a business manager um, access to each one of those, be able to manage those different assets accordingly. What we're going to do is we're going to walk you through the process of how. Um, so normally, you know, you should be able to create a custom audience and kind of go through the process of uploading a customer file, but it's going to give you this pop-up that says connect to business manager to create this audience. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and connect this now. So what you need to do is go through then choose where do I want this to connect to? Well, I have a few different types of business uh, manager accounts and I don't want to select any of the ones below because what that will do is one of these accounts will take ownership of this ad account here. So if I chose, um, for instance, leads to listing, and I selected that leads to listing um, business manager account would then now own this ad account. And you can never unlink them once you connect that. So uh, if my business leads to listing would then have ownership of that ad account, this ad account belongs to my client, um, but then I would have complete uh, ownership of the ad account and then that person would never be able to have access or um, untangle that essentially. So you would need to be careful when you create this. Make sure that you own a specific business manager and that you own the actual ad account. If you're doing this for a friend or for a client or another agent or a different business page that you might not be associated with, be careful because it can be a little tricky. Um, you don't want to own the ad account that you don't own. So what we'll do for this is we'll create a new business. I'm going to go, to, go ahead and copy this name here. And if you don't have a business manager set up, you might go through a different process here, but I'm going to show you what that looks like. So it's going to take you to the business manager page. So you can manage all the ad accounts, pages, and people that work on them in one place. Kind of gives you an overview of what that all means. Um, it's more than one ad account and kind of goes to the process of what that looks like. We're going to go ahead and hit create account. And then I'm going to choose either an existing business or create a new ad account. So we're going to go ahead and add the business profile name, which is Rio Grande Learning Solutions, which is that business page and that um, ad account. And then my name and then business email. I'm just going to go ahead and put my uh, main email here. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead and move this forward. And details here. 
United States. And then you just need to fill out, of course, any kind of uh, business address details that are associated with this um, ad account. All right, so it's going to tell us that Rio Grande Learning Solutions, the new business page um, or new business manager account was created. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to need to verify on that link to get full access to the account. So I'll go ahead and hit done. And I can see that I'm going to confirm this. Let's hit the confirm now. And then now it's going to take me inside of the uh, ad account. So you can see that I have um, myself listed here as the role of admin. And we need to assign a business page to this. So what we'll go ahead and do is hit assign assets. And then we're going to assign pages. And then we're going to go ahead and just search for the page. And if we can't find it here, what we'll do is we'll just go to pages. I'm going to send this side over here. And then it's going to say Rio Grande Learning Solutions doesn't have any pages yet. So we'll click on this and we'll say add a page or you can request access to a page or create a new page. Um, if you don't own the business page, if you're not an admin of that page, then you can request access here. And then you're going to go through that process um, of requesting access. Ideally, you're going to own that. So you're going to add a page, just click on this, and then we're going to type in Rio Grande Learning Solutions, and it comes up right here. We'll just click on that, and then we're going to hit Add Page. All right, so now we've added the business page to the business manager um, and the ad account associated with that. All right, so request for ownership is pending. Um, and right, we created this business manager account, Rio Grande Learning Solutions, that now is going to own Rio Grande Learning Solutions, the page and the ad account associated with it. Um, so what we can do is once this is goes through approval process, then you can add people right to this specific thing here. So we can say uh, we want to add our partner or whatever it might be, um, and then give them admin access, whatever whatever else uh, kind of access you want under add account. So it's saying we don't have any ad accounts just yet. So we need to manage the ad account. So we can request access to an ad account um, or create a new ad account. So I'm going to click on um, add an ad account and add the ad account ID. So I'm going to go back in to uh, Rio Grande Learning Solutions and we originally created this and I'm going to go under and find in settings the ad account ID here right so Rio Grande Learning Solutions and this is the ad account setup and ad account ID so I'm going to go ahead and take that and then I'm going to go in back to here under ad account and just paste that in and then that should give us direct access All right, so the ad account is now owned by this business manager account. So now it pulls in Melanie, who is the owner of the business page. And she, um, I can either have her as the ad, 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 ad account uh, admin, ad account advertiser, and same thing here, you can manage different roles, right? And associate those different roles with them. So you can add more people here um, and define a certain role. If they're an analyst, if they're an ad, ad account admin, um, whatever that might be for you that you want to add them. You can view um, payment methods and add payments to there. You can add the multiple ad accounts here. So we can have maybe four or five or 20 different ad accounts um, and then add different pages, right, that are associated with this. So if I wanted to add more um, pages, I would add a page here, add a page or create a new page what that would do is that would then put that page, that business page, under Rio Grande Learning Solutions as the business manager account. So Rio Grande Learning Solutions would own, let's say I've added a page that said um, 
I love uh, Golden Retrievers as a new page, then Rio Grande Learning Solutions would own I love Golden Retrievers the page and the ad account associated with it. So hopefully that gives you kind of an idea of exactly what this looks like, um, but you will need to do this and connect this in order to start adding any kind of custom audiences from a customer list, right? A customer list that's associated with um, your account. Reason they're doing this is one, to be able to create a more safe and trackable environment and be able to verify the business that's associated with those customer lists that you're uploading. Uh, so that is exactly how you connect those two audiences. And then now you can create um, a custom audience from a custom uh, customer list. 